When I say that CSGO... Is this a watch, yes or no? When I say that... Uh, what the fuck is happening? CSGO skins are stonking. I mean, they're going to the freaking moon. With player counts exploding and CS2 on the horizon, virtually every cosmetic in Counter-Strike has either doubled, tripled, or quadrupled in value. Why are you saying beat emoji? But it's actually a nice Shut guy. He has way. Like we did the score video, right? All like, um, and she asked me as well whether I would like to come on his like podcast or something. I think they had Zippel already on, but I don't know. I I'm not really a podcast guy. I think, Smelmy. Uh, if you ask me a tricky question, oi, oi, oi. I don't know. Yeah, on a Friday, Oosh. <laughs> we're not just at an all-time high. We're at an ass. Please do it, bro. I actually thought back in the day. With when I was doing a lot of shit with Jesus, right? When we were well, doing case opening something. battles, when we were doing um, the Minecraft fucking things and oh, stuff. No, I actually was about to, like, we had the idea of, like, making a podcast together, Jesus and I. <laughs> bro. I still kind of want to make one, bro. Maybe with Arrow. That would be so fucking sick, bro. Arrow and I, we like, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's like, it's, it's like a, it's like a puzzle that works. I don't know. Astronomical, atmospheric high. Everyone and their mother is buying in on the hype, which begs the question. What happens when everyone goes to cash out and things start to what? come down? Before we get into the video, I want to let you know that we have partnered with Qualcomm Technologies and the team over at Snapdragon Elite Gaming to explore Ooh. the world of mobile esports. If you no want to know all shot. about how he <laughs> What is that? Oh my god, I've never seen that before. <laughs> <laughs> what? Mobile esports has gotten all over the world and how changes in phone technology have helped that happen. Check out our episode on the rise of mobile. You gotta be kidding. Brawl Stars. Holy shit. How many? Bro, Brawl Stars is actually huge, no? Chat, sometimes I'm surprised. Sometimes I like scroll through TikTok. Then there's like a fucking live stream. There's like Brawl Stars World Cup. And it has like 100,000 live viewers because everybody has a fucking phone. Like, uh, bro, I don't know. Like, a lot of people play those fucking mobile games. A lot of people. Esports. You can find a link in the description God, below. Damn. The times, they are a-changing. CSGO is almost out the door. CS2 is on the doorstep. But skins? Um. Skins are as crazy as they've ever been. As I'm sure many of you are aware, about a month ago, Valve announced the impending release of Counter-Strike 2, a sequel to the so-called King of Shooters that would see Global Offensive ported over to the Source 2 engine. Now, that created a staggering amount of hype. But here's the thing. Player counts had already been rising, quite significantly, I might add, prior to that. Why? Honestly, that's a topic for a different video. Counter-Strike has been growing exponentially since the onset of the pandemic. I wonder why as well, Chad. Our numbers are still going up. Is it because Valorant is dying down a little bit? I think it may be. I think it may be. And thanks to a variety of factors, the growth of the esports scene, increased popularity in China, increased interest in FPS at large, skins have become somewhat short in supply. Why am I harping on this? Well, because the price of skins was already encroaching upon an all-time high before anything related to CS2, leaks, reports, etc., had even reared its head. So when the bomb that was CS2 did drop, things went nuclear. Because we had this shiny, <laughs> sparkly new Counter-Strike that would render skins in a shinier, sparklier light, sometimes with an entirely oh, new shit. model, everyone started opening cases. Oh! <laughs> this guy. There's no way. This Bro, guy. This is this is actually insane. This is insane. If I get a back to back. Right imagine back to back. This no, that was guy. Back back, I shaved my head. I did that okay, on stream. Right. If this is a back to back, back I'll act. <laughs> oh my god! It I think is. I said I would actually show my cock or something. Not only did this cause the price of cases themselves to skyrocket, but virtually everything contained within them. Everything from stickers to regular ass vanilla. Unbox one of these, you all ready? No. Knives stonked in ways that made even the most hardcore skin enthusiasts do a double take. And while the prices of certain things, like cases, have cooled a little bit, the question on everyone's mind is. Are we in a bubble, or is this the start of something even crazier? Here's the thing. I don't know. 
And anyone who tells you they do know isn't playing with a full deck. What I do know is that we have seen this type of growth before. And last time, it ended very badly. You see, back in 2021, CSGO skins underwent a similarly staggering stonk. The surge in popularity that the game saw at the start of COVID gave way to a hike in general interest that in turn caused a sea of shady, non-endemic pyramid scheme investors to engage in mass pump and dump purchases that basically sent the market into a frenzy. I know, it sounds insane because it is. We actually covered it way back when it happened if you're interested in learning more. The point is that because the growth was manufactured I don't know about that. and in that sense inorganic, it created what you will hear economists refer to as a bubble. The schemers went to sell, everyone who invested at the behest of the schemers got burned, the bubble burst, and the market crashed hard. Um. The way it recovered was through organic growth. As more and more people started playing Counter-Strike, so too did more and more people start um. buying, selling, and oh, trading no, no, no. skins. The market started seeing a natural increase on demand, which in turn created an authentic strain on supply, and over time, steady increases in price. I know this is all just basic economics, but it's worth spelling out nonetheless. The question, again, is, is the growth that we are seeing right now the good kind or the bad kind? Mm. Well, ostensibly, it's the good kind. Counter-Strike is literally more uh -huh. popular than ever before, players are fiending skins more than ever before, and since there aren't enough to go around, they're becoming increasingly valuable. Which, to be clear, isn't a bubble, but uh -huh. what is called the law of supply and demand. So, in that sense, it's a good thing. The issue is when speculation enters the mix. You see, right now, the player count hasn't risen substantially enough to justify the exorbitant increase in price. Everyone's buying on the assumption that demand is going to go up even more after CS2 comes out. Which, safe to say, it probably There are a lot of people, I think, buying for that reason, right? Because a lot of streamers say it as well, like, oh, I'm buying skins right now, but if CS2 comes out, everything will go crazy. Chillax. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of people uh, see guys saying me. Yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Probably will. The question is by how much and for how long. Yeah. Now, it could be that CS2 comes out, the peak concurrent player count hits something oh, crazy, something? like 3 million, oh. and the value of skins doubles what it is right now. But what happens if it only goes up by a little bit? Or it goes up, but only for a little while? Everyone is going to go to sell all at once to secure. Oh, chat, 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 bro! This makes me so happy right now. It's like this is what we're going to have in the in the next month. The game will release, bro. It's the it's the release day. Everybody on Twitch goes crazy. We are all here together, watching the release, playing the new maps, checking out the new cases. Maybe the new operation, playing it together. Everyone and I will play the new operation. There's danger zone. Maybe new pl uh, more players. Bigger maps, 100 players, danger zone. Source 2 engine allows bigger maps, allows bigger player numbers. Bru da. Oh my god, bro. Oh my god. In just a couple of months, we will fucking sit here and fucking do that, bro. I'm so fucking hyped. So fucking hyped. I want to be one of the first people to unbox a knife in CS2, boys. Yeah, whenever that feature comes out, luckily we have the beta. I hope that they oh, will release in the beta um, case openings before... Wow. Um, the actual release, so we can beta test the app, uh, openings. I'm here, Valve. I'm here. If you're gonna give me exclusive access, I'm always uh, always down. Um, I want to be one of the first people. CS2 knife. Your investment, and that, my friends, is uh. how a market goes. <laughs> This is something that Zippel and I discussed on the last week's episode. <laughs> Why? Bro, Zippel is so fucking rich. He's like, look, like crazy chair, like uh, crazy equipment. Why is it still always, why does this cam look so bad? So what's going For those on? who don't know, Zip is a skin trader, content oh creator, and all around expert whose opinion is widely respected. Here's what he had to say. But then once CS2 comes, we'll see, let's say that there is a player record in the start of like 4 million people playing the game. We have even more new players, and they need skins as well. And there is even more reason to buy skins. But then it depends on how many, like, are there still people to buy? Did they do it before, right? Mm -hmm. And then what I think is going to happen is skins are probably going to continue to go up a little bit. And then after two months, when it becomes normal, the game is settled. People will be like, okay, it's time to cash out. Yeah. And that's when we see no the shots. dip. And I don't know how big that dip will be, but I, 
I, I, I suspect that if we continue climbing with all the skins like right now, I, I think it could get pretty ugly. To be clear, I am not saying that you should or shouldn't sell your skins prior to, amidst, or following the release of CS2. I am not a prophet. I cannot uh, predict the future. Uh, <laughs> even though he says this, Sparkle said the same yesterday to the Shattered webcase. Oh, Bruder. Especially on a channel like this with full normies. And this is what happened to the Shattered webcase after Sparkle said, Guys, I'm not saying to buy. It may not make any sense. Ah, yeah. <laughs> oh, jeepers. There's only one specific item, though. Somebody cashed out their investment. Sheesh. <clears throat> Lord knows I am not offering you financial advice. All I want to do is offer you a better understanding as to what's happening and why. As for what's going to happen, who the f knows, man. Inventories doubling in value overnight is great, don't get me wrong, but it's also sort of scary. The future of Counter-Strike looks very bright and I'm not concerned that the skin market is like going anywhere. Long term, this could be the start of something really great. I'm just nervous that short term, it could be the start of something pretty damaging. Up, so be smart, Maybe. don't overextend yourself, it's a 97%. and yeah, I'll see you on the other side. W -vid. Always remember, you haven't made like money until you sell. I think what I'm probably going to do is I probably have my eye on one or two like high tier skins that I'm going to sell. Just to secure, like to couch a sh you know, a, a sh load of profit in some cases. <laughs> Who is and talking then to? I can sort of rest easy and be like, alright, I'll sit on the rest. <laughs> this guy. Okay, next up. 